How's it going everyone? This is my This is my favorite feature of the truck. Took us about two and a half months to build the bed. We built it in my friend's garage over a course of about two months, working weekends only on it. The truck is bagged and body dropped. It has a Thor Thorbex 5 link rear suspension on it, a Michigan Metal Works flat metal control arms in the front. It's got Slam Specialties bags, SS8s in the rear, and SS7s in the front. I run a Slam Specialties valve block with two Vier Vier. 444C compressors, a flow manufacturing 24 inch spun aluminum tank, Buzz's chop shop, supports for the air management and the air compressors, got a 13 gallon tank for fuel, it's spun aluminum that's been polished out. The bed is made of 11 gauge steel. All the doors are functional and all have trays where I can put tools or ice chest or whatever I need to carry with me whenever I'm driving the truck. The wheels are American Racing Torque Thrust 2s. The fronts are 17 by 7 and the rears are 15 by 11. This is a dash out of a 83 GMC S15. It's got a low car shifter on it. The Slam Specialties MC2 controller. Fire extinguisher, dolphin gauges. I wrap my door panels in a leather. I wrap the dash myself and shaved the ashtray, the defrost vents, and the speaker on top. I had a friend do the seat for me at First Class Upholstery out of Merriam, Kansas. Five panel wink mirror. So under the hood, under the hood, I have an inline six out of a 1970 Chevy C10. This is the 4.1 250. It's got a HEI conversion on it. We mounted the engine in the stock location. Cut the firewall back. 
so we can fit a turbo 350 long tail shaft transmission in there we recessed the aluminum radiator it's a four core aluminum radiator out of a Corvette that we put into the quartz port of the S10 from the firewall back the frame's been chopped and we put two by four steel rectangular beams that make up the rest of the frame all the way back on the front normally the bumper sits on top of the grill but we ended up cutting the frame horns moving them back and moving them down so we could put the bumper under the grill instead of on top the headlights are 7x3 Cree LED lights I've got four of them on there the bottom two are my low beams and the top two are my high beams the mirrors are off of an old square body Bronco I've got running lights on the bed That's my waterproof bay that I can hold all my tools and stuff. This is an open bay that I can put an ice chest or cinder blocks or something for my canopy whenever I carry it. There's my ice chest sitting in one of the, the bays. So in this one I've got my cleaning supplies on the top. And I've got my battery down on bottom. So the wood has been painted, sanded, stained with mahogany, and ended up getting a poly coat on top. truck has got a lot of time and fabrication work on the body and the frame making the engine fit Y'all can see it lifted up. So that's the truck lifted up.
at my 1990 Chevy S10.